Today, we're flinging arrows with my mid-60s Ben Pearson. Got this thing for 50 bucks at a pawn shop. Let's see how she shoots. Hey, Joel McLean here from CatholicHack.com where I live my life for God and I'm passionate about traditional archery. And uh, today I'm shooting my mid-60s Ben Pearson that I picked up at a pawn shop just down the road for only $50. And uh, it's a great looking bow. She's got some wear and tear on her. But uh, overall, very nice. She's 40 pounds at 28 inches. This is the Javelina 708, 66 inches tip to tip. I just bought a uh, Dacron continuous loop B50 string threw a uh, knock on it and I'm letting her fly but you can tell that the uh, there's no plate on the shelf and that that pad on there is uh, pretty worn out looks like it's original but doesn't matter we're gonna let it fly I actually have uh, I'm gonna be tuning this a little bit I'm gonna put the pad on I'm gonna replace that shelf and I'm gonna put some string silencers on but that'll be happening soon enough. Otherwise, we're just flinging it down the down range and seeing how she flies. No idea where that came from. One thing about this 40 pound draw weight though is I'm used to shooting 55 pounds. So going from 55 to 40, it feels so light and airy. It's really kind of hard to describe. I think there's a temptation because it's easier to slack off. Yes, you can focus on your form, that's true. But I think I hold an anchor for longer than I would normally shoot with my 55 pound bow. And I think there's some risk to that. Good. I'm shooting my beamins out of this bow. It's one of the nice things about this particular setup on the beamins is that I got 31 and 3 quarter inch arrows. I spined these at 340. I put 200 grain tips on the end and they fly great either out of this bow or out of my red stag. Either way, they fly really, really well.
good shot. Not good. So one thing I am going to focus on, I think, while shooting this 40 pound bow is my release. I've noticed I've allowed a plucking action to creep into my release, which is not good, and it's throwing my shots off. I attribute that mostly because, to be honest with you, I don't get to shoot as much and as often as I really would like. And time is a, a commodity that I don't have a lot of anymore. Practicing is, is somewhat difficult for me. So I really want to iron out the wrinkles on my release. Whenever I have a good, clean release with nice back tension, I see the difference immediately. But I'm finding a lot of inconsistencies in my form and my shot cycle at the moment. That's not a bad group, even though I had two flyers. I love finding a deal like this. Have you ever found an incredible deal at a pawn shop or a yard sale? I'd love to know what you found. Leave a comment below the bow you picked up, the price you got it for, where you found it. Isn't that super cool? You know, it's interesting because we go places like pawn shops and garage sales and we find these incredible deals because people just don't know what they're worth. But we know what they're worth, right? done so already do me a favor and subscribe to the channel I'm trying to put out a video every week it's getting harder and harder to do to be honest with you, between family work and YouTube <laughs> pray for me but I do have some incredible videos already in the catalog and I'd love to have you a part of this community I'm grateful I've learned so much from this community you guys are incredible archers and I really wish you were making videos so that the rest of us can learn from it. But if at the very least, if you can't do that, comment below with your suggestions on practice, on release techniques and tips, I'd be grateful. Give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and I'm praying for you that you shoot straight. I hope you pray for me that I shoot straight. And until the next video, may God richly bless you.